Good morning, Marcus Conti reporting. It's a good day to be yellow. <laughs> uh, reporting from New York City. So, so I want to uh, talk about the spin machine. The spin machine is already in full bloom, full full steam ahead as the yellow wave makes its way to the United States borders. It's already in Canada. They're already starting up, right? So first weekend, September 15, 2018, uh, cities all across America, get ready, step out into the park peacefully. Yellow flowers, yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow vest, you got a yellow vest. I tried to find a yellow vest yesterday, man. I walked around, I went to the, went to the fucking bike shop in New York. I went... I know I could order one on eBay. All right, I know. But I wanted to wa <clears throat> walk into a store and buy one. <clears throat> and it turns out I couldn't find one, right? I, I, there was, they had orange ones. The bikes, the bikers here use orange. So I had a hard time finding it. But the way I see it, any yellow is yellow. Yellow is love. So, so the spin machine, the conservative spin machine, is now trying to spin it into a a radical, violent, Antifa-style movement where these people are just, you can't satisfy them. You, they just want everything, everything for free. Right? That's what they're trying to do now, right? That's your conservative party, people. Right? Your conservative commentators are now spinning the plight of the working people in France and now in America and Canada and Brussels and all across fucking Europe and all across the great nation of these United States, your conservative, your conservative uh, talk show commentators are now spinning it as if it's a socialist movement. All right. This is this is going to be the the fight. So I was watching RT um, this morning. This guy Steve Malsberg, Steve Malsberg from New Jersey, right, representing Wall Street. Steve Malsberg from fucking I don't know who this jerk off is, but he's definitely a jerk off. And we're gonna we're gonna listen to what the jerk off says, and then we'll talk about what jerk off Steve Malsberg has to say regarding the, the protesters who feel their economic plight has largely been ignored. Macron is, is pro Guy's a cocksucker. As Do you think this was a good move on his part? I think he came off looking weak and pathetic, and he's not going to, as you heard from the, uh, the protesters or the people who just commented, he's not going to please them. You're not going to please them until they get everything they want for free. Uh, I mean, he says violence is not going to be tolerated. Violence is not the answer. He's going to stop the violence at all costs. And then he begs employers, please give these people bonuses. Uh, we'll give you a raise of the minimum wage. You won't right. have to you have the tax on pensions you won't have to have the tax here and there we'll give you whatever you want please stop i think he looked pathetic he looked weak he did it on a pre-recorded uh, uh, videotape it wasn't even a live speech from what i gather and i think he's just setting the stage for more riots there'll be more protests on saturday and guaranteed they turn into uh, to riots again i don't know where it ends unless he gets tough now you you rattled off some of the, the let me just stop it right there because i want to it's there's a lot oh now. shit there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in that clip. I don't want to lose it. Right. So, so here's 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 the guy. You see the backdrop. It's New York City. He's down in Foley. He's down in City Hall area, Wall Street, right? And he's pitching. He's pitching for the banks. You got right in his background, right? You got the Freedom Tower. You got Goldman Sachs in the background. Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan, all the buildings are down there. All the scumbags, all the leech, all the all the corporate leeches, the corporate corporate scum that are robbing this country blind. He's down there now. Mister Mister Fucking Jewish New Jersey Malsberg is pitching on behalf of the banks. All right, that's what that is. Right, that's a fucking that's a that's a Wall Street pitch to to derail. A people's movement, right? Focus on the violence. Focus on the smoke bombs, right? When we know all along that it's it's the people of France raising rising up. It's the people of America rising up. It's not fucking free stuff. I'll give you an example, right? When you when you work at a bank like like not this idiot because this idiot has never worked in a fucking bank, 
But some of the idiots that do work in banks, what they do is when you work for like like Goldman Sachs, you don't even leave the building. They have gourmet lunch. They have a gymnasium. They have shopping within the building. You, you, you're like in, a, in, in the twilight zone. Everything is, all you got to do is you work and everything is, is free. <laughs> They're the ones who get all the free stuff, right? right? But when, when the worker busts his ass for 60 hours a week and can't make his bills, right? Then, then when, when <laughs> that's free stuff, right? Because as long as you work for the bank, you, you're okay. You can get all the free stuff you want. You see how the, it's socialism for the rich? And cocksuckers like this, liars like this, perpetuate the lie. Together, and I think he's just setting the stage for more riots. There'll be he's more also protests on Saturday, and guaranteed they He's also into talking a, about cracking heads. Again. I don't know where it ends unless he gets tough. Get tough. Hey, you Stop cracking the, heads. The measures he's taking. Let's take a look at some of those measures. Uh, he says uh, to quell the outrage, some of that's going to be increasing the minimum wage by 100 euros a month. Uh, also removing taxes on overtime pay, scrapping taxes on pensions under 2,000 euros a month. Even going All as far reasonable. As business owners to reasonable. issue tax-free bonuses at year's end. So do you think those con concessions will actually help uh, the situation in France, at least for now? Because he's hoping to quell the, the violence and, and the riots happening, especially over the holidays, which I'm sure are impacting all the businesses along the Champs-Élysées. Oh, it's an economic disaster. You're absolutely right from that uh, angle. Look, uh, it, it Look. started out as a protest against the fuel tax. He immediately, last week, uh, withdrew the fuel tax, and the riots continued on Saturday. And now he's given these concessions, and you see what the, uh, the, the man in the street is saying. Still not enough. The students are marching today. Still not enough. Um, he's not going to be able to satisfy these people. The only way to get tough is to, is to, is to declare a state of emergency in general and combat the violence when the violence goes away that's when you sit down and talk with people uh, who want who make demands you don't capitulate in the face of violence and then they know what works and they hope to get more and by the way these people in France have to learn what people all over the world have learned in various uh, countries at various times you don't get anything for free okay you could uh, you could demand free education free this no taxes blah 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 yeah and, and who's paying? The rich? You can't squeeze enough out of the rich to satisfy all these people's demands. Now, I'm glad you brought up the whole rest of the world. I mean, it's, it's so offensive and so condescending. These people, the, the fucking people of the country, he's, he's pointing out. These people, those people, right? He's also saying, stop cracking heads. And when they stop, when they stop speaking up, and, and coming out in numbers, that's when we'll negotiate. No, they did that for, for their whole entire lives and no one is listening, right? See, this is, this is, this is a fucking roadblock right here, guys like this, right? And if, if, if the rest of the conservative, can, whatever the hell that means, right? Guys that want to wanna, wanna stop real momentum in this country like a, you know the, the 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 movement of the of these yellow jackets to actually wake people up to the economic uh, uh problems then you gotta you gotta confront guys like this this is this is bad news so it really uh i mean when i watch that it 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 creates a um, it creates a visceral a visceral reaction where it's this guy is a mouthpiece right understand who he is he's a guy who does the bidding for the banks he gets a pat on the back for that oh yeah fucking start cracking heads telling the police start cracking heads when when they when they when they when they yield when they yield then we'll negotiate no when they yield then it's over and then you win which is what always happens right right so i'm not i'm not condoning the violence, the violent part of this that is inevitable, but it is it is a uh, it is a fact that the current uh, oligarchy will not listen. They don't care about. They don't give a shit about voice and 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 people speaking up. They care when when the system stops. When the system stops working and you start clogging up 
Christmas shopping in New York, right? And people stop stop spending, right? If they if they're out on the if they're out on Saturday and Sunday protesting in cities all across the country and peaceful protest sitting in the park wearing yellow is not exactly a massive protest but people start to talk and people start to wake up when that happens and that's what they fear right they fear people gathering and coming together and and uniting see that's the that's really what's going on here that they're afraid right because look it's not it is it isn't just about tax it's about corporate monopoly oligarchy that has 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 choked the lifeblood of our economy right there is no small business it's all 10,000 15,000 publicly traded companies that call the shots right they've they've totally you know denigrated the court system the court systems don't work anymore the agencies all these discriminatory agencies and and government none of it works anymore right people the unions forget about it what what's a fucking union right there's some maybe one or two left but for the most part they've those have been eviscerated from civil service work they're just tools of the of the uh of the establishment right so it's more than just a, it's more than just a gas tax fucking Malsberg, you jerk off you fucking blind jerk off i'm getting bitter now so uh marcus conti reporting so um kindly consider making a contribution to this uh to this uh, effort and uh even like a dollar in a tip jar uh if the thousands of people that watch this i know a lot of people a lot of people have already uh, done so but if you haven't kindly make a contribution to keep it going it doesn't take much the the youtube people think oh this fucking guy's got all these all these views on youtube and he's making a ton of money no you don't make anything it's peanuts and youtube is now demonetizing videos that they don't like so that's not it's not sustainable is what i'm saying through paypal if you make uh you know like a a, a one time contribution or if you agree to uh, uh patreon for a dollar a month if a thousand people give a dollar a month it becomes sustainable you can i can continue to voice this uh give voice to this cause marcus conti reporting